Ahoy there, pirates. Amir, or One Falcon, here for Mare Thief. The Pirate Lord and Captain Flameheart each have dozens of exclusive cosmetics to unlock. These cosmetics range from mythical curses to fearsome figureheads. To acquire these highly sought after cosmetics, you'll need to raise your allegiance to both of their factions. Allegiance is similar to the reputation you earn by selling treasure to trading companies. However, instead of allegiance representing how much treasure you've sold, it measures how well you have fought for your faction. So, how exactly do you start fighting for a faction and earn allegiance for them? To earn allegiance for a faction, you must first join that faction using the Hourglass of Fate on your captain's table. So, to earn allegiance for the Guardians of Fortune, you'll need to spin the Hourglass of Fate to their faction and pledge your allegiance to them. Same goes for the Servants of the Flame. Once you have pledged your allegiance to a faction, you have opted into the on-demand PvP and can start earning allegiance in one of several ways. Fighting ships of the opposing faction, turning in your faction stash grade, and cashing out your hourglass of fate. Let's start by going over fighting other ships. Fighting ships of the opposing faction guarantees you allegiance, win or lose. Of course, you'll earn much more allegiance for winning a battle than losing. But, either way, you will have made some progress by fighting a ship from the opposing faction. Each time you win a battle, you will not only earn allegiance, but you also build up your allegiance streak. Streaks act as a multiplier on the allegiance you earn from fighting ships. The higher your streak, the higher the multiplier used on the allegiance you earn from your next win. The streak of your opponent can increase your allegiance as well. The higher your opponent's streak, the more allegiance you'll earn. With earning allegiance from ship combat covered, Let's go over the Faction Stash Grade. Turning in your Faction Stash Grade also guarantees you allegiance. However, this method of earning allegiance is not very efficient, as the payout is low, even at the higher grades. Similar to the payout you receive for leaving an Emissary with a leveled up Emissary Grade, you will receive allegiance for a leveled up Faction Stash Grade. To raise your Faction Stash Grade, you must gather treasure on your ship. The more loot you have collected, the higher your Faction Stash Grade will be. Once you have at least a grade 1, you can go to an outpost and end fighting for your faction. As soon as you're no longer with the faction, you will earn your allegiance. As we mentioned, this is a slower way to earn allegiance. If you want to utilize your faction stash grade fully, you want to defend your ship from an opposing faction ship with treasure on board. Your faction stash grade multiplies the allegiance you earn from sinking an opponent. The higher your faction stash grade, the greater the multiplier. And of course, you will earn allegiance if you can make it back to an outpost and cash out your hourglass of fate. As long as you have at least a streak of 1 and have earned some hourglass value, you will earn allegiance when you vote to leave your faction. That about covers all the ways you can earn allegiance and rise through the ranks of either faction. If you have any questions, comments, or intense battle stories, be sure to leave a comment below. See you on the sea, pirates.